Hey, what's up guys? Dan back at you with another video from Destiny. In this video, we are going to be talking about the Dawning and more importantly, what to expect with the Dawning when it comes to PvE. I'll probably be doing a video in regards to PvP as well today, but this one will be more on the lines of PvE and what we will be expecting long term. Now, from what we know so far, we are getting some some strikes coming. We're getting a new quest line for the holidays and everything. We're getting the icebreaker back. Those things are all confirmed. However, just like last year, I know we didn't have a winter festival event last year. And I feel like this is a reason we're getting it is because of the outcry of silence that Bungie had last year around this time. They're giving us a little something to do during this time. However... This will come into play for the next two or three months, I want to say, at least until Valentine's Day. We might get another Crimson Days. However, there is no confirmation about that, any PvP events or PvE events. Uh, with SRL and all that returning, however, that gives us the question of what's next. This is the end of the year. This is the last event of the year. A good two weeks to enjoy SRL, a good week... To enjoy the few things that we get to find out whether this is going to be all microtransactions once again just like in festival of the lost for halloween and i'm really begging the question what now how long are we going to not have any new content and are we going to have what happened last year with bungie being very silent and just in one form enjoying their holidays which is to be honest, what I would prefer them to do, take a break before they re-gear up for Destiny 2, which is more than likely next year. But uh, there still is Destiny 1 here right now. And with Rise of Iron kind of on the back end, the whole hype cycle is gone. Um, what are we going to see? Are we going to see some more of these small little events? Are we going to see another April update? Are we going to see a Crimson Doubles? Are we going to actually have something in January? Or is after the dawning, is this basically it for the rest of Destiny 1? Now, I know what you're saying. There's only time to decide. There's only time to see. They are working on Destiny 2. We know that we know we're going to get some more things to come our way for Destiny 1. They're working on Destiny 2 for next year, but there's no confirmation, no set date or anything like that to go off of. So until we have a set date, what we have now is what we have for Destiny. And as far as I know, a lot of people are done with Destiny right now, which is totally fine. And you should totally play other games. There are a ton of great games right now. There's Uncharted. There's Overwatch. There's a bunch of games you could be playing right now. Don't worry about not playing Destiny. Don't worry about catch up. We're pretty much at the end. There might be one more light level boost before Destiny 2. But with Icebreaker coming back, just like in my video, I talked about how they're just giving us all of the year one stuff back. Just as one final hurrah right before we get rid of all the stuff and start over in Destiny 2. Just enjoy it. Just move on. But what is next? I'm really curious what we'll be seeing next. I really believe we're going to have at least one or two more events. PvE and PvP based. There might be one more event for PvE. One more event for Pv, uh, PvE. And one more event for PvP. But this is basically it, man. The dawning. We're going to see what uh, happens. We're going to see tomorrow when we get dawning tomorrow morning. With the update. <sighs> We'll be seeing what we get. We'll be seeing what's going to happen. And I'm really curious how well they handle what happened with Festival of the Lost and how they take the criticisms that a lot of content creators, including myself, put out and the vocal output on Reddit and on the Bungie forums and everywhere. How, how <laughs> they were basically not with that. So there is only a few hours left before... The dawning comes out there'll probably be another video talking about the pvp side of things if we should have a weapon balancing spoiler alert we should but what we might need to see happen in that weapon balancing would be nice i'm keeping all weapons just in case anything changes in, in regards to the meta and i don't know on time to tell 
So what do you think about the donning? What do you think might be coming for the donning? What do you think about post donning? Because we, we got to start talking about post donning, you know. So that's all I have for you in this video. Let me know in the comment section. If we can get some likes in this video, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much for watching the video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.